Okay, if you want to do loops in Comfy UI, here's a simple example. Uh, we'll start off with, uh, that's the start of the loop, that's the end of the loop. Then the, both have to connect with the flow control. Um, the initial value we we'll set to zero. And then what we want to do with the value is we just add 100 as an example. And uh, this has to connect to number one. This number one initial value, value one, value one, all has to connect at, as if they're the same uh, variable. Um, the remaining is how many times you want to run it. So we run it twice, we'll add it to 200. Run it once, 100. 500, five times. Um, the remaining value, I never use it. it. It's just like when it's running the first time here and it will, the remaining value will be 5, when it's running the second time, the remaining value will be 4 until it gets to the last one, it will be 0 or 1. Um, that's a simple one. This is a simple loop with uh, using accumulate. With accumulate, uh, the accumulation is just the same as an array. You just put stuff in and it adds. Um, to add is what you want to push into the array, the accumulation. So we're just starting here. We want to add AAA to the array. The array, the accumulation, the accumulation is tied to value 2. There's no initial value. It will just start off with an empty, empty accumulation when there's no value. And you just link, link it up to two, value two, initial value two, value two. That's the start of the loop, end of the loop. The flow control is linked. And at the end of the accumulation, it has to be put back to a list to make any use of it. So accumulation to list, that's what you use. And a string lists to string just joins uh, the list of strings we've made, we've accumulated. Uh, so I've on, I'm only running this once. So you just get one value, you run it twice, you get two, here you get three, you get three, um, and so on. So here's an example with images. You've got the same thing loop open here, connected to the loop close, and we use value three to as the accumulation array. We start off with nothing in the value p, so it's an empty array, and we just connect it up. And at the end here, the accumulation gets converted to a list. You can't use the accumulation array by itself, it has to be converted to a list at the end, and you can see the output there. And this is just your normal uh, case sampler sort of nodes, and the output of this goes into the accumulation array. So you can add you know, numbers, text, images in the accumulation array. And the only thing different here is the seed. I've used the remaining number to put into the seed. So um, the remaining number starts off as, would start off as free. Then we'll go to 2, 1, and 
if we start this now we just render a few different images <laughs> based on that um, feed number and if we change the amount that we want to render here we just the amount of times you want to go through the loop that's the remaining number here we just go through it five times instead and it'll be like a seed of five four three two one 